Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be really fun. I have my laptop because we are going to be ranking book tropes. I actually just found like a fictional romance um, like a tier trope and so I'm gonna put that on and we're gonna rank the tiers. I'm so excited, let's get into it. it. only has, I mean, I don't know, this is probably like 25 book tropes so I'm really excited. We have the God tier which is, I'm assuming, I mean, you guys know, I don't need to explain. We have love, like, eh, and avoid. Like, I'm not picking up a book if I know that this is a trope. So what we have here is bad boy slash good girl. Honestly, I think I'm going to put this in love. I, I feel like this is a pretty standard trope, the good girl and the bad boy. Like, I honestly feel like that's, is that like a majority of the books I read? I'm thinking, I'm thinking of like, fantasy typically the boy is like a little bit like rougher anyway we're gonna say I love that because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna avoid that at all and I don't just like it I love it okay friends with benefits to lovers I feel like I really don't read books like this all that much so I feel like I'm just gonna put it to like I'm trying to think of an example of this trope I know I read not in love i think that's what it's called by ali hazelwood and i would say this is kind of friends with benefits to lovers but it's not even they're not even friends they're just like hookups so i feel like that is a neutral i feel like i can't think of an example where this is like has been present in one of the books that i've read so i like that okay slow burn is the next one and this is god tier i did not realize i liked slow burn as much as i did until i read Mariana Sabata books. I've read two of her books this year and she is definitely one of my favorite new authors. Like she does slow burn so good guys. Like I can't, I'm obsessed. I can't stop thinking about it. I want to pick up more of her books. I love a slow burn. Okay, then we have Grumpy and Sunshine. I feel like this is also God tier. Well, uh, see this is maybe what I was thinking when I said bad boy and good girl. Grumpy and Sunshine to me are kind of the same thing. Uh, is it God tier or love? I'm solely putting it into God tier because I'm thinking specifically of Mariana Zapata. Mariana Zapata, I say it differently every time. Someone please correct me. If you know, tell me. But I feel like it's maybe a little bit different than Bad Boy, Good Girl. Like, Bad Boy, like, he's bad. Whereas Grumpy, you know, he's just like has a little sour mood. And I think that's a little bit better. So, God tier. Student, I. I don't like a teacher student. I think I'm gonna say avoid. The only book that I've read where teacher student, well, I'm sure I've read other books, but all the books that have been teacher student have been talking about the effects of how bad that dynamic is. And so I'm just gonna avoid that. I'm thinking um, in My Dark Vanessa, I'm thinking um, The Teacher or A Teacher by Frida McFadden. Those books just are like, they're, my Dark Vanessa is actually a very beautiful book, but it talks about like the darkness of a grooming situation. And yeah, I'm just going to avoid that. I don't like it. I will say I haven't read one where that's been like romanticized. And I, I don't think I will, honestly. Person, not enough time. Are you kidding me? I, I don't want to say I avoid it because I have read books like this. Uh, me Before You. Um... I don't want to say other books because they are kind of spoilers, but maybe for you, everyone knows that. It's, I'm going to say that one. But I'm not going to actively seek out that trope because why would I do that to myself? <laughs> anyway, it's at, like, I will read a book with that, but like I said, I'm not going to seek that out. Single parent. I did not realize I liked this so much until I read, um... Elsie Silver has a series that I started. I softy enoughed it, but I really like that dynamic. But she also has her Chestnut Spring series, which I'm forgetting. I think it might be Heartless is the one. Uh, is it Reckless? Elsie Silver has one in the Chestnut Springs where it's a single dad, and I am obsessed with that. I honestly want to say I love it. I did not think I liked kids in novels, but I honestly really enjoy it. And even like... I mean, I know Tobias Rhodes is not a single father, but like, he is kind of, and so I I think I'm gonna say I love that. Strangers to lovers. I feel like isn't this, isn't this like most people typically? 
I'm gonna say I like that because I think that's normal. Okay, we also have friends to lovers. I'm gonna say I love that and then strangers to lovers, I like it. Like that's just a neutral. Whereas friends to lovers, I'm like, <laughs> shut up, tell me you were best friends in high school and then you became lovers. Tell me you grew up next door and then you're now in love. I love it. Bully romance, I'm gonna say avoid. I think the only book that I've read with this is Punk 57. I read that book so long ago. I just don't think Penelope Douglas is the right author for me. I think, I just don't think anything dark, like I will read dark romances, but they're not really my thing. And I don't understand bullying. Like if you've been bullied by someone, you're not gonna fall in love with them. Like, let me just tell you that much. Fake dating. Ugh, this is a really hard one for me. Because I'm like, I'm not going to actively seek out a book that's fake dating, but I don't mind it. And sometimes it can be done really well. I'm just going to say I like it because that's a neutral standpoint. Like, I will read those books. I will be intrigued by those books, but I'm not. that's not an active thing I'm searching out for, I guess. Love triangle? I'm going to say eh. <laughs> I don't really like love triangles. Um, of course, the books that are going to my mind are like Twilight, um, The Hunger Games, I can't even think of anything else. Those are the two things that come to mind. And I, you already know who they're gonna end up with. I can't really think of another book that's kind of a love triangle. If you guys have recommendations that will change my mind, let me know. But this is just like, this is just like eh for me. Like a, I don't really care. Only one bed is God tier. I can't lie, it is God tier. Guys, anytime there is one bed, you know what's gonna happen and it always disappoints me like if people we meet in vacation when he sleeps on the the chair or the reclining chair i'm pretty sure that's what happens it's been like three or two years since i've read that but oh my gosh when they mess it up too because like the tension is so crazy they're like no i can't sleep with you i can't and i'm like sorry i had a i had a minor freak out Anyway, um, Brother's Best Friend. I'm gonna say I like this. This is pretty neutral, like, happenings. I don't know. I, it's not like my personal vice, but I know it does it for some people, and I think that's fine. Pregnancy, I'm gonna say it because I don't really, I don't, I'm thinking of an Elsie Silver book where this happens, and it's fine, but I feel like most books that I read, this is like, Honestly, I feel like I have not read more than that one book where it's an accidental pregnancy. Well, I guess maybe I've read like two books and it's just been fine. Like, I don't really care all that much. I do like the tension it creates, but it's nothing like where I'm like, ah, I love this. Sports romance, I am going to say, well, do I love this? I think I like sports romances. I think they can be really good. I'm, I'm, I keep on thinking of Mariana Zapata right now. I just read The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, and that is like kind of a sports romance, but it does not, it's not centered around the sport, which I really liked. So if we were talking about that book specifically, I would say I love, but like sports romance in general, I feel like it really has to be done right. Like you can't always be talking about the sport because I don't, I don't care that much. I just like the fact that he's a football player. Like, are you kidding? Anyway, enemies to lovers. Guys, guys, God tier. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? God tier, I have nothing to say. Enemies to Lovers is the best. It's so much better than Friends to Lovers and even better than Strangers to Lovers. Enemies to Lovers, 100%. This romance, I feel like I like it, but it's not anything where I'm like in love with that. I don't know. I do like the tension of it where they're like, especially when it's a secret, like they're not supposed to be dating in the workplace. But I really can't think of all that many books that I've read with this trope. I'm thinking The Hating Game, which I read that so long ago. That book is very dated. Um, that's the only book I can think of. And like they kind of keep it a secret and I like that point of it. But I don't know. I don't really, yeah, it's just like, I like it, but that's all. Childhood Friends to Lovers, I have to say... This is also in love. I mean, I said it earlier, friends to lovers. I was literally saying, tell me you grew up next door to each other. I love that. Friends to enemies to lovers. Ooh. I cannot think of a book where this happens. i say I love that too. I feel like those are all pretty good 
transitions into lovers. I really, I cannot think of a book like this, so maybe I should put it down to like, but I feel like it's solid enough to where it's okay in the love category. Okay, I hate everyone in the world but you is got here. Like, come on. This is like my favorite, I don't know who said this, but it's like the hero will save everyone else but not her and the villain will save her and not everyone else and I'm like give that to me that is literally Damon and Stefan that's all I'm gonna say about that okay then we have age gap I think I like this it's pretty neutral I'm thinking again Mariano Zapata all roads lead here is an age gap romance and that is perfectly done the age gap first has to be really reasonable for me like I read birthday girl is that also by the Philippi Douglas and that age gap was just a little bit too much. There was also other things going on within it. But as a general rule, like, age gap does not bother me. As long as she's not, like, 18 and he's, like, 40. Like, there has to be some sort of reasonable age gap. Or else it just feels, like, kind of wrong to me. And especially if they keep on bringing up their age gap, that is what really irks me. Good boy, bad girl. I feel like... I feel like I just like this. I feel like I I cannot think of anything where this is like true in the book. So I'm gonna just go with a general like neutral answer. This is famous. I do think I love this. I fear that I love this. Um, I'm not thinking of any book other than Mariana Zapata in uh, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me and that's pretty like neutral. But there's also that one, The Bodyguard by Catherine Center I think is what it's called where he's famous and she's not and it just reminds me of starstruck a little bit where the girl or the guy whoever it is doesn't really care that they're famous being famous also like allows privileges to them both a little bit and i like it i enjoy that force proximity is god tier guys can you sense a theme here okay i love to force proximity tell i don't care if you hate to see me in this room we're locked in here love that's what forced proximity does to me. Mafia romance is eh to me. I feel like I really haven't read all that many mafia romances. I read the Emily McIntyre like Never After series and some of those were mafia romances and they're just fine. Like they're three stars. They're fun to read. They're quick but they're not really like my taste and that's not something I like I go out and get because it's a mafia. We have two more. We have a bodyguard romance and I feel like I like this. Like I said, I just brought up Catherine Center's The Bodyguard. And I think that's fun. Um, yeah, I think it's awesome. I'm actually, okay, this is kind of embarrassing, but I'll just admit it. It's on my Goodreads. I'm currently reading a Draco and Hermione fan fiction. It's the Draco Malfoy and the mortifying ordeal of being in love or something like that. And he's kind of her bodyguard in that and I'm obsessed with it. It's amazing. And, but like, is that just because it's him and her? I'm not sure. So we're just gonna put it in like. The last one, can't believe this. It's right person, wrong time. I feel like that's an F for me as well. Like it can be, okay, wait. But Magnolia Parks and BJ, okay. I think I like that because specifically in the Magnolia Parks BJ universe, specifically the two of them, or even like Daisy and Christian, I am like, actually, actually I really like that. I like the tension of that. So here's our final list. I'm pretty happy with this. This is pretty fun. Anyways, guys, that was my tier ranking list of book tropes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I haven't done one of these tier trope lists or tier lists in so long. I think I did a couple for a vlogmas or bookmas two years ago, actually. So it's kind of a fun throwback. But anyway, I am going to uh, get ready for the rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. It is the last day of bookmas and I can't believe it's already December 12th almost. It's December 11th when I'm posting this, but anyway, I will talk to you guys so soon. Peace and love. Bye guys. <laughs>